Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Illinois with a Sovtard who has been pulled over once again for no plates, uh, no license, no registration, and all that other good stuff on his way to the vet as well. You know, it's a damn shame that that dog has to suffer through all this because his owner believes it would be more important to play with the officer rather than take him to the vet. At any rate, let's go and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here we go again. I see, I'm coming right over here. I've seen this uh, soft heart a couple times before. Uh, he always spouts off the most incredulous crap you over here, and he is a diehard fan of all those soft heart gurus out there and spouts off the party line every single time. Hi there. What you sure saw me? What's your emergency, and how can I help you? I'm just doing a traffic stop here. Your uh, registration's expired. Did you know that? That's your emergency? Yeah, it's not an emergency. Do you know it's a felony? Do you know it's a felony to pull somebody over with your lights if it's not an emergency? I, it's not. It doesn't have to be an emergency. It's a traffic stop, sir. <laughs> Please provide a citation on the origin of that particular narrative of it being a felony to use those lights in a non-emergency situation. If you cannot be bothered to do so, then I will take it that you are just BSing us and trying to pull the wool over our eyes or any other metaphor that refers to a falsehood or fraud like you just talked about. I'm not operating in commerce, but I tell you what, go ahead and fill that out for me before we can proceed. I got a sick dog, I'm sorry and to hear uh, that. I need to take him in. So go ahead what, and fill that is, out before we can proceed. What, no, I'm going to need to see your driver's license, please. <clears throat> I'm not operating in commerce. I don't use a driver's license when I'm traveling in my private business affairs. You know, the Supreme Court says that I don't need one. You need a driver's license? <clears throat> yeah, when I'm, op when I'm not operating in commerce, if I'm using the road for hire, then yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to need a citation on that claim that you made about SCOTUS ruling that you don't need a driver's license to travel on the public roadways in your vehicle. I know you're going to point me to all those uh, sovereign citizen gurus on YouTube, but I've seen those sovereign citizen YouTube videos that you're talking about. And uh, guess what? They don't show a damn thing. They will generally cherry pick one or two lines out of an entire ruling and claim it backs them up on that particular claim when it actually does not when it's put into proper context. There's the issue of that soft hard questionnaire you gave to the officer. He doesn't need to fill that out. That's not part of the job, and there is no law stating that he has to fill it out to begin with like you soft hards claim there is. Now let's get on with the rest of his damn stupidity, shall we? But uh, you need to you need to have a driver's license to operate a vehicle on the roadway, sir. I'm not operating in commerce. You're operating a vehicle on the roadway. For the, on the public road, and I have an unalienable right to do that to travel. Do you know that? With a driver's license. No. If you're driving a vehicle, you can travel. I'm not driving a vehicle. License. I am traveling in my automobile. You're See? driving your automobile. No, I'm not a driver because you're I'm in not in commerce. Seat. No, I'm not in commerce. Go ahead and fill that out for me, and then I, I can need to see your driver's license, please. I don't use a driver's license, and I don't have one. You don't have a valid driver's license? No, I'm not operating in commerce in my private business affairs. Okay. How about your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name's Officer Schumacher. What is your name? You've got a name. You don't have a name? Officer Schumacher. <laughs> Look, 
we can sit here for 30 minutes and then you're going to call in and you're going to let me go. Or we well, can sit and play this game. You, sir. Uh -huh. I don't plan on arresting you. Okay, so if you're not going to read me my Miranda rights and charge me with a crime, I'm free to go, yeah? No, you're not free to go. You're well, that, so that I'm under arrest. Right now. So I'm under arrest. You're being detained. So I'm under arrest. No, sir, you're, under, you're being detained. If I'm detained in my private business affairs without a victim, without a crime, I'm under arrest. So well, read me my Miranda the, rights, the or I'm the state of Illinois. You're operating the victim is the, vic on the, the road. victim the victim can't be the state license. of Illinois because the state of Illinois is a corporation. You got to have a victim. You got to have a flesh and blood man. Okay. The state of Illinois can be a victim. No, the state of Illinois is not a victim. Look, uh, your inability to understand the difference between a private corporation and a government entity isn't exactly going to help you out in this situation. Just because a soft hard guru that you follow on YouTube says that the state of Illinois is a corporation doesn't make it so. Look, I'm traveling in my private automobile. I'm not Tim. in commerce. What was your name again, sir? I can't ever find anything when I'm All looking right. for it. Hey. Could I get that name, sir? I'm not operating in commerce. It doesn't I mean, mm. oh, it very much matters. No. Yeah, it very much matters. And the fact that you guys don't know that, it's, I, I understand. You're, you're, doing what, you're doing the job you've been trained to do. Okay, so now you're telling the officer that his job is a total lie because why a sovereign citizen guru on the internet says it is? Hey, soft heart, let me give you a little clue. Not everything your guru says is true. In fact, if you cross-reference it with actual materials, you'll see that 99.999% of it is all lies. And that other 0.00001%, well, there's got to be a kernel of truth somewhere, and, uh, well, we've got to find it, that's all. But unless you've got a victim and you've got a crime, uh... You're going to read me my Miranda rights. No, we don't have to do that. You're detaining me. You're yes. not dictating this traffic stop. He needs your name and date of birth, and you're you're going to be out of here. Okay. Yeah. Well, now it seems like this officer isn't buying any of your sovereign citizen mumbo jumbo garbage. So, what are you going to do with it? Well, same thing that any sane sovereign citizen would do. Try it again and see if it works again. The very definition of crazy. Trying the same thing over again and expecting different results. Do you have a driver's license on you? I don't use a driver's license when I'm traveling in my private business affairs in my right. private automobile. Sir. I have an unalienable right to travel. I'm sorry you folks don't know that. Why do you soft hard morons believe that the best place to take care of this kind of litigation is on the side of a road rather than in a courtroom? Your name Thomas? Sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. I hear you yapping. Is your name Thomas almost dead? What is your name? My name's Officer Schumacher. T-Com 112, we have a 27 Okay, well you can you can talk you can take that to your court case for the traffic citation. But, officer, why would he do that? Because if he tried that in court, the uh, judges and lawyers might laugh at him. And then he would be totally humiliated and embarrassed and everything like that because his sovereign citizen gurus failed him. Write the stinking ticket, then. I need your name and your driver's license. I don't use a driver's license when I'm I traveling. I can't write a citation to nobody. Well, you have a crime? Do you have a thing. victim? I'm going to need your name or you're going to be arrested for obstructing justice. Okay? That would be good because that would get expensive. So if you want to arrest me, you've already, you, are, you already have me under arrest. 
you're not under you're arrest. detaining you're me. So way. read me my I'm rights, or I'm free to go. Yeah, you're going to sue the officer and the police department and whoever because you don't want to follow the laws of the road? Yeah, good luck with that, pea brain. I have a passport. Would you like to see my passport? Absolutely. Can I see that? Sure. Yeah, how much you want to bet that that password is a fake ID? Because you know how sovereign citizens love to fake those IDs. What's your RAS? Secret Expired sticker. That's your reasonable, articulate bulls a suspicion that I'm operating in commerce? That's your SAF? No. It's a What's your SAF? It's a violation of Illinois Vehicle Code to operate a motor vehicle on railroad with expired registration. That's, that's true. If I was operating in commerce, fine. that's true. Fine. If I was operating in commerce, uh -huh. but I'm not. Okay. Gotcha. So the no, no laws apply to you then? No, that's not true at all. Okay. Uh, if I injure somebody, if I commit a crime, if I damage somebody's property, if I trespass on somebody's rights, I damn well better be held accountable and I would expect to be. Okay. You don't have a crime here. You're building a mountain out of molehills, what you're doing, sir. You think so? Yep. We'll all see. Right. You know, you keep on talking about having to have a driver's license if you are driving in commerce, but I've done over a hundred of these videos so far and I have looked up the law countless times and nowhere does it ever say that it's only for driving under commerce. In fact, it's pretty much mandatory that you have to have all that to be able to drive on the public highways. Were you wearing that seatbelt before I stopped you? You're going to fill out that paper? I'm going to assume that you're not going to. Seacom 112. <clears throat> no, officer. He was never wearing a seatbelt to begin with. In fact, I do believe a lot of sovereign citizens consider that of the devil, too. Because to them, it's another fraudulent traffic law that they refuse to obey. You do have a driver's license, sir. I do not. I do it's not. expired, but you do have a driver's license. You can have that back. Thank you. Thank you. We finally decided to have you on site, sir. You're going to run this? Yeah, I already did, sir. Oh, you already ran it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That simple. Well, the traffic stop is about to come to an end here shortly, and one of the vet techs comes by to pick up the dog so it can get uh, its treatment. Poor little dog has to deal with that owner's stupidity. That owner put the uh, soft hard belief system above that dog's health. What a buffoon. Can you take him in now? He's, right. he's probably thrown it up since 2 o'clock. He's I'll probably thrown up five times and he's had diarrhea since midnight. We're going to run some blood work. Up, where are we going to do I gave him some Italian beef yesterday for lunch and I shouldn't have done that. So I think that's what happened. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Olmstead. Here's your citations. You're getting one for the expired registration, you're getting one for the expired driver's license, and you're getting one for no proof of insurance, all right? You understand that? <clears throat> I don't stand under anything. Okay. <clears throat> I do not consent to contract with you. You don't have to. So your court date's going to be... Oh, I absolutely have the May right 9, to... May 9, 2023 at 9 a.m. I Falls absolutely County Courthouse, have okay? the right to not accept your contract. Okay. Absolutely. <clears throat> I don't need anything else from you. You're not allowed to drive this on the road, though, okay? It's not legal to operate on the roadway. Well, now it is a true shame that... Uh, he didn't get his car towed because, you know what, he is going to continue to do this no matter what. He's a devoted, sovereign citizen. He's insane. He's going to continue down this path because he believes that the laws don't apply to him. And even if he gets his car towed, he's still not going to learn anything.
because he's going to toe the party line with the sovereign citizen movement until the day he dies. Well, oh, maybe that's just a stretch. Maybe one day he'll come to his senses, but I don't think it'll be anytime soon. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.